welcome to today's tutorial so in this tutorial we're going to be uh, solving rather in this lecture we're going to be uh, looking at limits so I'm going to introduce limits to you uh, on the j on just on the surface in short okay so this is just a quick introduction to limits so let's take um, le let's take the limit of f of x uh, when x is approaching c to be l and also the limit of g of x when x is approaching c to be m so in other words okay let me just say well, we'll, we'll first start by looking at the rules of limits so uh, the first one we're going to look at is when you're adding two uh, limits so when you're adding two limits of two different functions it's just the same as adding as long as you're approaching the same value there which is c you can see we have c there and also have c there so it's just the same as adding the solutions so when you're finding the limit of f of x plus g of x it's just the same as adding the solutions for them which is just l and m there so this is what is happening same applies to subtraction you also have to do the same when you're subtracting two different uh, functions f of x and g of x the solution should uh, just be the same as subtracting their corresponding answers yeah, so I'm doing this first so that we go to the practice examples where I'm going to show you how to apply these uh, rules. Then when you're multiplying, it's also just the same, just the same as multiplying uh, two solutions there. And then same applies to um, a situation where you have a constant. So if you have a constant, if you have a constant, um, like for instance, what is here, if you have a constant k, uh, uh, multiplying the a certain function so you can easily factorize that and also and find the limit of that given function there f of x which is in this case is equal to l so when you factorize k and then find the limit of f of x it's just the same as multiplying k to the solution which is k so i'm just doing a quick introduction same applies to division division you also do the same then uh, yeah, so if you're if you are dividing two functions, f of x and g of x, it's just the same as dividing their solutions, as long as you're approaching the same value of c, of x rather. So you also need to um, know this important, um, uh, I'll call it a rule, which is uh, um, the limit, which is the limit of... Um, 1 over x when x has been raised to any power n as x is approaching either positive or negative infinity this is always equal to 0 so it's also very much important to know this okay it's also very important to know this uh, rule so if you've been given something like uh, the limit of 1 over x to the power 2 as x is approaching positive infinity the answer will still just be equal to zero this can be any power it can be power 4 power 5 power 1 the answer will still be a zero there so it's also very important to know that okay okay so this is what I was explaining I was saying um, if you have any um, function which is in the format 1 over x to the power n as x is approaching uh, either positive or negative infinity and then you've been told to find the limit of that the answer is always zero then you also have these important uh, special limits that involve sine theta over theta so you can have um, if you find anything if you're solving a limit and then you discover that you have sine x over x and as x is approaching zero the answer is always one so applies to this limit here when x is approaching positive infinity for this function here for such a function as this one the answer is also always just e e is just the number which you can find on the calculator which is about two point something okay so you also have this kind of a limit it's also a special limit as x is approaching zero uh the answer is also just one there's also this kind of a limit which gives a zero as the answer so if you're solving limits and then you come across something like this the answer is always zero and then if you are um, uh, solving limits you come across something which is in this format the answer is also e as x is approaching the right side of uh, zero 
then you also have this kind of a limit as x is approaching 1 the answer is always 1 okay so these are some of the important limits that you need to know okay let's look at these examples here we have the first example which is just um, the first example which is um, the limit as t is approaching the limit as t is, uh, as t is approaching negative 5 of this expression so how do you solve such a question so the first thing that you need to understand about these questions is that most of them are straightforward and they are simple so to solve this kind of a question you simply just replace negative 5 where there's t there so we're saying or what i mean is if you have the limit as uh, of t squared minus 5 as t is approaching negative 5 this one is just found by replacing <coughs> negative 5 where there's t there. So I'm going to have negative 5 squared minus 5. So this will be 25 minus 5. So the answer is simply just going to be 20. Same applies to the uh, uh, second expression here. So on this one as well, we're just going to replace negative 2 where this x there. So how do we do the replacement? So we say the limit of that uh, function uh, so this is a long function um, uh, it's a long function I'm not going to write it let me just replace direct <coughs> so we have 3 and then what is x I'm putting negative 2 we have to the power 3 minus 4 we have negative 2 squared then we have plus 2 negative 2 there then we have negative 3 so this is what you're going to have so you have um, three open brackets, the power negative eight, I mean times negative eight, minus four, negative two squared will give us four, and you have um, negative two times two, we are getting negative uh, four. We're getting negative four there, then we have negative three. So we have negative 24 here, then we also have negative 16, then there's also negative 4, then there's also negative 3. So when you, when you add everything there, we're getting something like negative 40. So because this one is giving us 40, and then this one is giving us 7. So we have negative 47 as the solution. So same applies to this expression there. So on this one, we're just going to replace negative 3 where there's t. So we say negative 3 minus 2 over uh, negative 3. Uh, plus 5 so negative 3 minus 2 the answer is simply just what negative 3 minus 2 the answer is negative um, 5 and then everything over 2 because negative 3 plus 5 is 2 so same applies to this one we just replace what is x there with 1 over 2 so I'm going to have 2 times 1 over 2 then this one will give us 1 as the answer. Even this one, we just do the same. We just replace 2 where there's t to find the limit of this. So I'm going to say 3, and then we put 2 there, minus 5. So this will be 6 minus 5, which gives us um, 1 as the answer. So now let us try to also do the same on this one. We are also going to replace negative 6 where there's um, x there. So we're going to say negative 6 squared plus 6, then everything over negative 6 minus 6. So this will be, um, let me write it down. So negative 6 squared will give us 36 plus 6, then everything over 12. So when we uh, add this, 36 plus 6, we're getting something like 42, then over 12. So, when you simplify this expression, you are going to get, um, uh, this is 42. So, we simplify this expression. So, 6 into 42, the answer is 7. Then over, uh, this one is negative 12, rather. So, um, 6 into negative 12, the answer is simply just uh, 2. So, the solution is negative 2, rather. So the solution is, is simply just going to be negative 7 over 2. So even this one here, even this one, we do the same. 
you just have to replace zero with z there so when you put zero there you have a zero even there you have a zero so on top there you just remain with negative four so i'm doing this because replacing is not something that is very difficult it's something that is straightforward so you put zero with z there you still have a zero and then you have plus one so you have a one there so negative four over one the answer is simply just negative four so this is the solution we have negative four is the solution that we have as the answer all right so let us quickly uh do even these others okay so even this one we're going to do the same so just replace uh, 15 while there's y there to get the, exp the, the limit. So we replace uh, 15 while there's y. Okay, 